What's up guys, Milton Monkey here. Today I am bringing you some FIFA 13 Clubs news. Uh, now, most of you will probably know that uh, EA uh, went to make some big announcements at Gamescom, um, which is the, yeah, it's, it's the big gaming conference in Germany. Um, but unfortunately, they didn't release any clubs information uh, in their uh, sort of slot they had on the stage, but they did release some via their Twitter uh, their Twitter page, which I've got uh, pictures on the screen when the, I'm talking about each um, each part of the information. Um, so I believe they didn't talk about it purely because they only had a certain time slot on that uh, stage, so they didn't have time to talk about it. So uh, we've got some really good in 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 uh, information, actually. Uh, I was pretty surprised uh, as to how much we got because I was a little bit disappointed after they made the uh, announcements uh, about what was going to be featured in FIFA 13. They didn't say anything about clubs, so they made it uh, on Twitter, which isn't too bad, and uh, I guess they've got an excuse for it. So the first thing we've got is, uh, you'll see the tweet on the screen, and the exact tweet is clubs, which is uh, going to be all the clubs news. Online pro progression saved on the server, not save files, bye bye hackers. So uh, just to explain this, uh, of course I meant, did a video on this a few uh, days ago called EA's Promise, if you want to go check it out, but that's a little bit of self-promotion. Um, it a lot of pros are hacked in FIFA 13. They're either hacked to 100% accomplish accomplishments or they're hacked to 127 overall. Uh, and it was really annoying. But this means that all your... Um all your pro stats are going to be saved online, so you can't change the save file uh, to a custom one that someone's already completed or uh, one that's already hacked. It's all going to be saved online um, on the servers, which is great. It means pro clubs is going to be legit. It's not going to be influenced by something that's complete bullshit, uh, and it's going to be actually how it is. Uh, one thing that's bad about this, uh, which is a tiny niggly thing, is you can't level your pro up. Um, in career mode, I'm guessing this means uh, on, if you're offline, because uh, uh, surprisingly a lot of people play FIFA without having Xbox Live. Uh, they just play career mode to level their pro up, um, and this may be uh, meaning that uh, career mode is not a way to level your pro up, and you have to level them up using clubs uh, or pro ranked match uh, or another way, which I'll get into in a second with another tweet. So the next piece of information was uh, turn uh, tuning. I don't know I said turning tuning to human goalkeepers. No more fully assisted in clubs, tuned attributes and accomplishments. So uh, I'm sure you all know if you've played clubs that goalkeepers in pro clubs are extremely hard to come against. Uh, they seem to save everything, uh, even things that are completely unrealistic. And there seems to be a barrier around them sometimes. It just makes them make the save, even if their uh, part of the body's not got to the ball. So really glad to see this because it means that um, being in goal is not going to be something that's easy. Because to be honest, it is easy in goal. I play in goal and it's easy to do. It doesn't take much learning. Uh, but now you're going to be on manual, so you get going to have to, uh, or manual or semi, so you're going to have to learn how to goalkeep uh, to how the game wants you to, sorry about my phone, um, rather than it just doing it for you by pressing A or using the analog stick. So I'm guessing um, that a human goalkeeper is going to be less overpowered, uh, and it may even be worse than having one of the uh, AI goalkeepers. Uh, tuned ad attributes and accomplishments, uh, I'm guessing that's related to the uh, goalkeepers thing, I'm not 100%, uh, but that's just something we don't know too much about, and uh, it just probably... Uh, changes how the game performs, uh, the player performs in the game. So the next piece of information we have is uh, it now has a seasons format. No more confusing rank points, leagues, get to Division 1. So this is of course, uh, head to head seasons has a layout where you go from Division 10 to Division 1 and I'm guessing this is now in pro clubs. That would be the only thing that it, uh, explanation it could be unless they change something drastically which wouldn't make sense. So that's what, that is what it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be a race to Division 1 pretty much um, and pro clubs which should, should be extremely interesting to do and like... Uh, it says in the tweet it won't be confusing anymore as to points and leagues and whatever uh, it's now going to be whoever's at the top of that league is or whoever wins the league is the best pro club which is like a, what, uh, is what I'd like to see because that is a reflection uh, of the best club and that how it, it, it relates to in real life next part of the information we got was um, online pro and CPU teammate stats are based off real attributes from players in top leagues. So I'm not 100% on uh, what this means, uh, but the only thing I can really say is that uh, uh, the players in your pro club, that means uh, the 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 any the yeah the any players if you like uh, the CPU ones it's called by definition uh, they're gonna reflect on some real life players um, so and also your virtual pro do that as well so you can make you probably your virtual pro play like Messi Aguero or something like that or if you defender John Terry maybe uh, Vidic something like that uh, so it's not just they're a completely different player they do relate somewhat to the uh, players in real life so the next piece of information we got we got quite a lot of information from Twitter was that 
Uh, maxed out pros, more re realistic to real life players. Accomplishments and growth have been tuned. So all I can say from this is uh, that uh, it's just going to change the game to make it more realistic. Of course, FIFA, FIFA is relatively realistic at the moment, uh, I suppose, outside of Ultimate Team. Ultimate Team's not hugely realistic compared to head-to-head -to -head, uh, a little bit, but that's another thing. Um, it's just going to mean that the pros are going to be more really realistic and it's going to be closer to real life. It's going to bring the gameplay cr closer uh, to what the real game is, as if you were watching it on TV, uh, which is really good to see. So the next piece of information, I believe we've got two more bits of information now, Matchmaking allows you to filter out enemies and human goalkeepers to your preference. So uh, a lot of people back out of clubs if they see they're coming up, get up against a human goalkeeper uh, within the first five minutes or an any. Uh, personally, I hate going against goalkeepers but like going against any. So that would be my search preference. And it just enables you to go into a game that you like uh, to be matched up against a, a similar opponent maybe. And uh, it just makes the game a little bit of a better experience. So that's pretty good as well. Next piece we have, second to last piece, is AI teammates get uh, AI teammates get better as your club improves. Now this is something I desperately wanted. It was suggested a lot by people, and it was something that I thought was a really good idea. And I'm so glad they've integrated it into the game. Uh, that means that as your club improves, uh, it gets better. As you play more matches, the default players, the any players, get better, which is great to see because the any players. Are they never improve on this game and they are stuck at a sluggish, stupid level. And uh, now they're going to be something, uh, if you're a great club, they're going to be growing into uh, great players. So you can actually play better as a team as you get better as a club, which is absolutely amazing. Really looking forward to playing with that. And the final piece of information, but not the least, is Free Agent Hub uh, allows you to play drop-in matches, looks at leaderboards, etc. before joining a club. So, all I can say from this is, um, it's a little bit vague uh, on what it's actually saying, but I'm guessing it just means that it's a little bit like pro rank match. If you're not in a club, uh, well, you, you can be in a club on pro rank match, but it means if you're not in a club, you can just go and play matches without going into a club. Uh, so you're not tied down to one club or whatever, and your uh, your stats still go to the leaderboards and whatever uh, that is. So if you enjoyed this information uh, or found it useful, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like on this video. And thank you very much for watching, as always. I'll see you guys later.